What's going on YouTube? It's the Green Shiz. Oh boy, we got a big one here today. We are in route to make a very large transaction. I'm selling my first edition Shadowless Unlimited Binder to a gentleman named Jesus. He is from Chicago. Um, this is gonna be a, a huge trade for myself. Basically just upgrading, got some my eyes on some other things. Um, so we're gonna make this happen today. Um, love the binder, sad to see it go. Um, it was my first ever goal to get that binder completed. Um, happy notch on my belt that I did it. Absolutely love the binder. I'll show it here in a little bit. I'm gonna do this a little vlog style so there'll be different cuts here and there. But currently in route, um, really looking forward to meeting, meeting him. Um, this, I think it's gonna go great. Everything checks out, he checks out. Um, just make sure when you're buying stuff or selling stuff really high high end that you do everything you can check the person out um, make sure you're not gonna get scammed that's the biggest thing and them make them feel as comfortable as possible the biggest key is communication you do not want to be the guy that's doing a fifteen thousand dollar plus trade or anything like even any type of trade doesn't matter if it's big small you don't want to be the guy doing a huge trade or a small trade it just doesn't communicate it's that's it's not how you do good business um, I have all my notifications on all that's which is why I comment on YouTube comments so fast I I like responding quickly when I get a notification I know it's not always realistic but I like it's quick it takes one second out of my life generally and I, I do it and I respond same with how I treat messages on Instagram on Facebook I like to uh, keep in touch with the buyer or seller and make sure everything's going well like for this one for example um, I told them that we need to text first thing in the morning so I know I'm not waking up by myself and he actually test, texted first, which is the first time that's ever happened. So that's a great sign. Usually it's me saying, hey, are we still good? But uh, this guy is on top of it. Hey, Zeus. And uh, yeah, keep rolling along here. And I get, I'll keep you guys updated what's going on. But let's get this, let's get this done. Let's get, move on to the next one. And uh, yeah. Boo. We're back we're back we're still moving driving down the road this is going down here in about 20 ish minutes so uh looking forward to it get this done um just really really need to reiterate it is so important to just vet people make sure they're real um do everything you can to understand them and what, what the motives kind of is kind of why they want to buy it um if and if not that then just know that and get into who they are like where where they do their sales if they're in different sales groups or on ebay um you just need to get credible references to be able to buy or sell something of a large magnitude or any magnitude it isn't good to do that <laughs> unless you have it so i can't say it enough um this gentleman jesus that i'm meeting here he is not very known in the Pokemon community, and I needed to do a little, a little bit of homework to uh, prove to myself that it's worth selling it to him. And he ended up sending me to a a Final Fantasy trading card group where he is known and that he does do business. So in that group, he was able to do a uh, like a reference post, 
and that reference post, I think there was about 10, 12 people on there, all, all positive comments as a buyer seller. So um, everything checks out there. So I'm looking forward to meeting them. Um, I know this this set will be in good hands. I can't wait to kind of get to know what he what his plans are to do with it. If he's grading the cards, if he's keeping it raw. So um, yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna get into it. All right, just rolled up. I'm gonna roll out here. See how this video quality goes. Stay tuned, because it's uh, getting out of this truck's tight. Oh, what's happening, man? Good morning. How are you? I think we're avoiding the rain. Yeah, I, right when I left it was uh, pouring and then... Hell yeah. Out, so. Awesome. I thought you could have left earlier because you know, the traffic's fucking terrible. Yeah. Hell yeah. Just got this up here. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Appreciate it. I was checking it. out your channel last night. Were you? Yeah. Appreciate it, man. <coughs> what do you so think? You, you trying to start something or what? Yeah, I, uh, I just started doing YouTube kind of not full-time at all. I work full-time, 9 to 5. But uh, I do it just for fun. Sure. Like, yeah, collectibles. I've been, I wasn't into Pokemon at all until like June last year. Okay. I had some older cards from my childhood, but um, just got deep into it, just buying, selling on the Pokemon groups. And, sure. Yeah, it's been fun. I got into it so as a kid, right? Face that came out, I played a couple of times. Yeah. Had some cards, but then when Pokemon Go came out, like nostalgia. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. And I bought a bunch of. Uh, I don't know if you saw like those those Pokemon Pikachu costume cards, yep. the Charizard, the yep. Rayquaza. So I bought those, and they're like 100, 200 bucks back from 2016 when I bought them. Yeah, I bought like four of each, and I like one day I was with my girlfriend, and I was like, I was like, oh, I, I forgot about them. I'm like, oh, let me like look up these, see if they went up, <laughs> and they're like two to three thousand yeah. dollars now. And I was like, holy shit! And my yeah. girlfriend's like, what? I'm like, I have like four of these, yeah. and she's like, no way! And I was just going through all the stuff, and I had like you know four of every box. I bought the Pikachu Mario boxes. Oh, I bought four of those, and those went up a lot. Oh yeah. And yeah. she's like, "This is crazy," and I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "You know." So when we were when I, when I was scrolling to my feed yesterday, and I saw your post, and I was like, "Babe," <laughs> I was like, "We, yeah. we got we got to check this out." And she's yeah. like, "I trust you." So yeah, no, it's <clears throat> this is the uh, pretty much the pinnacle of the nostalgia here. It's, you know what's crazy is literally the other day, I was like, "Cause I'm a, I'm a." hardcore collector I, I don't do pokemon anymore that's more of like an investment for me yeah but i got into final fantasy yeah if you remember that i don't know if yeah. you ever played that growing up they made a Just trading video card. games not the trading cards yeah it, it's newer so like i couldn't do pokemon and that at the same time because this was yeah. too expensive yeah so then i just dedicated to that but um uh but then when i saw I, the other day i was like thinking to myself it'd be cool like if i could at least just do one of each yeah you know and yep. then you popped up real quick, like the exact thing I was thinking about. <laughs> this is crazy, man. Oh yeah. Uh, so this was this basically this was my first collection goal is completing this binder. The first set I completed was the Shadowed Unlimited set. And sure. this all of these cards, I don't know if you looked at these ones, mm -hmm. but they're basically near mint. Um all really, really good condition. Yeah, yeah. The second set I did was Shadowless. I wasn't trying to dump a lot of money, so this is worse than the first edition set. Gotcha. Condition-wise, on sure, average. Sure. Um, there is a couple mint cards, like the Middle King's mint, but, so I did sh Shadow, Shadowless, and then upgraded finally to first edition. And you did this all last year, or? Yeah, in the last year and a half, finished all this. I feel like that's when prices were like at the highest. It was, yeah, it was, uh, I piecemeal it together, right? So I didn't buy a collection, I would buy onesie twosies, Sure. Or if I did buy a collection, I'd maybe pull one or two cards out of it that I needed. Sure. Um, and flip some of the cards I didn't need. But, yeah, it was... Basically, what I'm looking to do is take the money and get into more sealed product, kind of like booster boxes is what I'm thinking. Sure. Got a couple in mind. What are you trying to get now? I like base sets, so it would be okay. some base set box or... 
I would feel like after all the hard work, you wouldn't want to, or I feel like you would have put more into this than you get back from it in like oh, a one-off sale. I didn't realize I had the arrow one in there. Oh, the blueprint. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> like on, on second thought. Yeah. I remember these growing up. It was crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you ever play the game when you were younger? Probably not. A couple of times. Just collected A couple of times. Um, I used to go to the Pokemon League. Yeah. But like, my family didn't have the money to like put into Pokemon cards or anything like that. So like, you yeah. know, I bought like a few packs and stuff. Yeah. Um, Usually yeah, just empty uh, pack art space with. Gotcha. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I, I played like a couple of times. And then like when I got back into it in 2016, I played a couple of times and then I didn't, yeah. you know. So oh, yeah. um, do you mind if I take a look at the Charizards? Yeah, I'll pull them out. Those like, yeah, those look, as long as those look good. So what, what'd you bring in your binder? This is just, so I got my my Charizard to compare with. Oh, snaps. I got this on Craigslist for like 150 bucks what? years ago. <laughs> I swear to God, the guy wanted 300 and I talked him down to 150. Holy cow. Yeah. That's crazy. I wish I got into it back then, man. It was, that would have been huge. This is nuts. $150 first edition Charizard. Yes, yeah, I know. Can I, can I check it out when you're done? Yeah, I'm not sure. That is a not a bad looking card. For $150? No. So what are you planning to do? Just keeping this in the binder, you think? Or? Yeah, like I'm a big collector. And just sit on it. Oh, um, yeah. Because I told my girlfriend, like, this is like an investment. Yep. You know, that's why I was kind of apprehensive because it's uh, if you would have done this like a few months ago when I sold all my stuff because I, I didn't sell all of it, but I sold a good chunk at like 12 grand on hand already. Yeah. And it was just sitting in my PayPal account. And then I put it into like the, my the Final Fantasy card game that I play. Yeah. So, so you actually play that game? like That one I play. I actually decks and stuff. do that at the end of uh, today. That's why I was like, I'm, a, I'm available early morning and afternoon. Yeah. Uh, this is nuts, man. Yeah, man. That's good to me. So, um, I think all my girlfriend will have to do, she's on, she's been texting me, is um, uh, once we do the, send you the initial, the first the first half, yep. she might have to verify it. Um, yeah, that one is mine. Up. Yeah, mine's, let me check, this might have a big scratch on it. I just noticed your yeah. centering was a little off left yeah, to right. Yeah, it's got that big gash right there, my bad. Um, all she has to do is confirm it, and then once on the second half. Okay. So, well, actually, I sent it to this. And I, I follow, uh, I don't know if you follow, like, PWCC on eBay? Yeah, I saw, because uh, you're going over, like, the auction stuff, and then I checked out your eBay as well. Yeah, the, uh, they, I follow first edition base. is like, my biggest thing to follow, but they just noticed that, like, the PSA 9s for the first time in, like, Four, four or five months just went up in price for the first time. Oh, nice really? Options, so. Why did I get all this stuff like slapped out? I don't know. I Is just, it just the legwork? I mean, the yeah, it's, time? I do grade cards, but I, I've i never graded first edition base for whatever reason. I'd rather sell it like this. Okay. Um, I like looking at it in the binder. I know it does. It is. It's, it is. it's more nostalgic to me in the binder. Like if I have a slab, like I have a slab 16 of 16 unlimited set. Uh huh. That's like a CGC nine, all of them. Sure. But I can't flip through the binder. It's way more, it means more to me looking at it like this. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Cause I collect, there's two cards uh, in particular in the Final Fantasy franchise that I collect. Yeah. And I have like literally like 50 of each one and I just like flip through it. And they're like in different languages and stuff. And it's, yeah. just, it's just nice to look at. Oh yeah, it is. That's, that's the name of the game. People are different. I like, I saw there's like a, a binder where you can actually put slabs in it. Oh, no. It's, that's crazy. So you I've seen it'll people, hold like four, I think. I've uh, I've seen people do uh, similar, but they use um, the um, hard sleeves and they the, use like a yeah, photo yeah. album. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Top loaders. Yeah, the top loaders. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna send you the first half here. All right. Uh, let's see if this. And then, what's your email, sir? Green shiz D A G R E E N S H I Z. At Yahoo. Make sure that's all correct. Yep, that's good. Uh, I'm going to send 7,500 and 7,500. Is that good? 
Yeah. It's playing. Let me test it real quick. Where about some Chicago are you from? Uh, Northside. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my sister lived in the by, city. Yeah, my sister lived in Wrigleyville for a minute. Now they gotta do it. Let's see. So you may need to like um Sports cards and stuff, or uh, it's primarily trading cards. So a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. Oh, okay. Yep. So and some sports cards, mainly just Detroit sports. But uh, I'm not too familiar with that market. There's so many different sets and field level, not field level, bronze, and just I can't. There's too much education in this to commit to the sports cards now. Sure. I don't have enough time. I got two kids and it's busy. <laughs> Let me call her up. Because uh, I'm needing a bunch more information. Hey, babe. Uh, they need your social. It's like a second. Yeah. You could just say it to me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, and then birthday, 2nd of March, 1988, correct? Just... So I'm gonna send 75 and 7,500, okay? All right, thanks, baby. Hey, uh, hold on, sorry. Uh, Cause you have a number of accounts here. Um, which, which is the last four? Eight four four one. Okay. Okay. And then there's gonna be uh, cause it, cause there's a the PayPal feed is gonna be a little bit on top of it. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. Bye. So now it's the whole chase part. See what happens with that. So yeah. See if I gotta approve something. Yeah. Uh, so you should get a ping on yours if the first half went through. Okay, so now it looks like it's, uh, let's see. Looks like it's trying to just check the second panel. Is it, you followed me on Instagram? Is that your? Yeah, yeah. mine on like, my dark cards. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So if you look at my, it's going to be like a ton of like Final Fantasy stuff. Yeah. And I collect Cloud and Sephiroth uh, okay. cards. Okay. Uh, I, I collect the Legend, which is like the, the, the kind of like Charizard and like Last Voice, you know, rarity yeah. in Pokemon. Uh, so those are my, the ones that, like, that I like to collect. Okay, so she's waiting for the text for the second half. Because yep. when they got the, they got the time. Um, you've done your big, other big sales like this or what? Yeah, a couple of them. I uh, I sold another, I had another first edition set. Mm -hmm. This is my second one. And it was really good condition. Mm -hmm. And I sold it at the peak. Um, and that one was 45 grand. And the cards were all pretty damn, very good gradable. But yeah. High. So it was pretty cool. Nice. Yep. That one was cash, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there you go. Appreciate you working with us on this. No, I appreciate you. Communication's key, man. Couldn't tell you how many times I've set up a deal for ranging from twenty dollars to a thousand, and the guy just ghosts me the morning of, and I'm like, Oh yeah, sure. No, and plus when you got to drive out, like you know, oh, a couple few hours and stuff. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And it's a big deal too. Like there's like all the you know, all the stuff around it. Because uh, I've tried when I was selling on like my my Pikachu stuff, um, I kept getting messages of like, oh, I'll, I'll take one of each. Do you accept crypto? 
Yeah. And, and I was like, and I was like, no crypto. He's like, all right, let me. He's like, give me a day to like transfer the crypto to my account, like this and that. And I was like, all right. And then like just never heard back. Yeah. Uh, there was one guy. Actually, the picture I sold you with, I was like, this is like six thousand dollars of the stuff I sold was in Switzerland. Yeah. And he wanted to pay me straight through. He's like, I'll just do a wire transfer or whatever. And I was like, nah. I was like, I, you know, that the devil screw you over. Yeah. But I'm not sure how that's gonna work or whatever. And then I was like, PayPal only goods and you know, goods and services. So then like he had to transfer, I guess, in, in Switzerland the funds to his account. Um, and then when he tried to pay me, his bank was blocking it, but he thought that there was something wrong with my account. Yeah. So then we're, like there was a couple of days of this back and forth, and I was like. I was like, I called PayPal. They said it's not me. They said you can pay me as much as you want. Um, I was like, it, it sounds like it's your credit card. And he's like, yeah. oh, I've made big purchases before. I was like, I don't know, man. I was like, that's what I was told. Yeah, you gotta call him, man. Right? So he called them up, um, and um, everything was fine. It was his bank, or whatever. And then he sent it. And so then I, I never used DHL before. So I sent everything via DHL. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Because uh, <laughs> they would insure. Yeah. You know. Um, so then, but DHL lost his package. So then he's like, hey, it's been like a couple of weeks. And I was like, all right. So then I go and I'm contacting DHL and then I got, it got stuck. And then they just sent it back to me. So I was like, oh, so, so then I was like, all That's right, I got it back. It. Yeah, like they sent it back, whatever. And I was like, what do you want to do? I was like, do you want me to try again? And I was like, I don't use DHL, I use UPS, but UPS was like twice as much. Yeah. And then, um, okay, so we're gonna try the second time. Uh, but they went through the second time. Okay. So it was cool, like, and then the guy got his nose card and everything. He was happy. Now I was happy because I was like, I don't want this sale to fail. Cause it's a, it's a big sale. Yeah, international is tricky somehow. I just lost, well, potentially lost about twenty eight hundred dollars because I shipped them cards and I didn't do priority, so there's not anything I can do via USPS. <laughs> so it's like three grand just on the ocean somewhere. Wow. So I had to refund them. A buddy of mine, uh, it was a two hundred and like fifty dollar card, and he sent with UPS, and they lost it. Yeah. But he didn't get the two hundred dollar insurance; he got the hundred dollar insurance. So then he had to refund the guy. Yeah. Um, and yeah. then um, he only got back like a hundred bucks, or whatever, from. Uh, I ain't bad. Okay, so I got to reconfirm. Is that yeah. whole thing filled with Charizards? Yeah, I, I collect them. This was back when I got back into it. Yeah. You can take a look at it. Yeah. Um, you got any of the, the Black Dot Arrow ones? Or? Not that I know of. I mean, I don't, that page is like those Charizards, and the other one is like others from okay. other sets. Uh, but, yeah. That's pretty sweet, though. I love Charizard. Let's show it on there. You gotta get the, uh, the no symbol. Or the no rarity one, I mean. What edition was that? That's the Japanese one. It's like the first, they say it's the first ever printing of this card. It's basically, oh, really? it's this card just without the star there. It was like an error that they did. I didn't even know that. No. It costs just as much as this card, basically. <laughs> Not in English yet, it's pretty expensive. Just that little difference. Hope I left enough space for you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's good. Thank you. Yeah, man. So PayPal, just so you can see here, whatever you need, just in the second half, so I'm gonna color again. Right. I had to like send the code twice, and then I just changed the password. Yeah. I did, and then uh, I tried to I tried to send it again, and it said it denied. Uh, did you get anything from Chase?
Okay, well, I'll send you the, the new password. It's the one that I use for my personal accounts. Um, but can you give Chase a call if you haven't gotten a text yet, please? Thank you, babe. Um, yeah, back when in 2016 when I got back into collecting. Uh, Evolutions are coming out. Yeah, that's where I got these. And then I was trying to do one of each. Uh, yeah. Of each language. And it's funny because even like these foreign language ones have gone up too. You know, like yep. even the first edition ones. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And I got a couple of like PSA uh, graded. I think I have one of the German and then one in like Portuguese. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I looked them up. And when I got them, they were like a hundred, maybe 200 bucks for like a PSA, a PSA 9. I think they're a couple of grand now. Yep. Uh, so it's the anything with that stamp on it yeah. just climbs. What are these things going for? I don't even know. I don't follow those. Graded, they go for more. Um, I don't think these are going for much, but I don't know if you've seen like the. It's Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle. Yeah. Like it's a Japanese promo. Yep. And I got those for like a couple hundred bucks. Again, way back when they first came out. And like a PSA 10 is like five to six grand. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so my plan with this, you know, once I get enough and uh, PSA opens up, um, uh, to send everything to get graded. Yeah. PSA is the go-to for you? I like, so what gets me about BGS is that when you do the four, which I get doing the four, like I have friends that have sent it and they get a 10, like a gold label 10, and it'll be like 10, 10, 10, 9.5. Yeah, and I'm like, it's so annoying <laughs> to get that 9.5, yeah. you know? Yeah, um, a little OCD a kick in. Yeah, so some so of my friends were like, well, if you, it's like when I was asking about sending in this Charizard, they were like, send it to BGS because they tend to be uh, better with cards of more damage, whereas with a yeah. PSA, you're probably gonna get yeah. lower or whatever. They're more lenient, yeah. So, um, I'm thinking when I do send my stuff, I'll probably do BGS. But then, like, uh, uh, with um, that promo I was talking about with the Pikachu, um, Char you know, Charmander, Bulls or whatever promo, um, a PSA 10 is like five, six grand. BGS 10, uh, gold label 10, is like three to four grand uh, because at 9.5. For whatever reason, it just drops really? from what I saw. Yeah, because I, I was contemplating. I was like, do I want to wait for PSA or do I want to send it to BGS? And I'm like, well, I'd rather send it to PSA now because if that get that 9.5, I'm going to lose a couple of grand there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you if it's a PSA 10, I'm going to have a most likely higher chance and I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, it's easier to get a PSA 10 over a BGS 10 for sure. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, um, and the centering looks pretty good. That's probably the only thing that could, because they were, you know, packed to sleeve, like, sent to me and I looked them over and I never pulled them out I just had all my stuff in a box and then one day I remembered I had them yeah and then just started going back and like researching everything and saw the prices now so yeah it's been going pretty crazy I don't see it going button down much further I think we've pretty much gotten to the bottom and it's I don't know we'll see time will tell but I think it'll go up for sure in due yeah time. and it's like it's like the stocks right like it goes up and down we got the 25th anniversary coming up pretty soon yeah, what I heard, and then the 30th anniversary. I'm sure they'll do something. Yeah, this is, we're about halfway through the 25th, but the the big set, I guess, no good sets really have come out except for Chilling Rain. But uh, yeah, they're the bigger set. They're still coming out this year, so. I just saw they made a, a new Blastoise card, and it's basically all gold gold bordered like shiny all through it oh uh for the 25th i yeah. think i saw something like yeah. that for the charizard as well yeah probably they reprint that any chance they get okay she said it's paypal um uh because since she rarely uses her her account they're just flagging her yeah so she's in the column right now um yeah i saw that i think someone said that uh I don't know if, like, it was half and half. People were like, oh, yeah, this is confirmed. Other people were like, no, this is just something that people drew up for, like, yeah. Um, you know, just like it'd be cool if they did this for, like, the 25th anniversary. Yep. No, yeah. No, I look, I think it's real. So that'd be good. Awesome. Yeah, PayPal's finicky. I, uh, I've done a lot. Most of the stuff is goods and services through the, through the, uh, Facebook groups. It's, like, mandatory. Oh, yeah. You got to pay with goods and services and, there was one time I sold a Venusaur for like $5,800 and they flagged. It's still goods and services. But as soon as something high 
I'd average like a three hundred dollar sale. So I hit fifty eight hundred on a random sale. They're like, oh, red flag. Sure. Can't give you your funds until a card's received. I'm like, it was in person. No, I was shipped. It was shipped. Okay, so gotcha. it made sense, but. And you put tracking on it or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. as soon as it got twenty four hours after receipt, I got the funds, but it was on hold for like five days. Well, it took a while. That's what I had because I had my Midgard cards. So I my my PayPal is to Midgard cards. Yeah. Um. And I usually do a lot of buying. Uh, I never had any issues really uh, until I started selling. And so when I had that 6K sale, same thing, I got flagged. But since it took so long going back and forth with DHL and all that stuff, that I actually got the funds before he even got his cards. Yeah. Wow. So, but uh, I knew, I like I sent them, I was like, unless DHL screws up again. And I told him, like, look, man, I was like, you pick DHL, here's the tracking, <laughs> it's out my hands now. Um, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, I, I get it. And then for her, because she just uses it to send like little bits of money here and there to people. Yeah. So I, I told her I was like, probably, because I was going to actually tell her to call PayPal as well. Uh, but I didn't think it would be uh, this big of a problem. Yeah, PayPal will put you on hold when you call them, and it's a whole show. So. <laughs> Did you get a bunch of, uh, you must, your DMs must have been like blowing up. It was pretty, yeah, you're, there's three people probably waiting in line behind you to buy. Yeah. So you're, uh, you're the first one, so. <laughs> Gee, really? Yeah. I'm surprised because I saw at least like there a, was so hundred people I, in front yeah, of me. I got I put it on like six different groups too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I so, just saw it on the one. Uh, which one was it? The Pokemon World one. Pokemon World, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So that DFW Pokemon group. Yeah. So that one was literally one of the six, and that wasn't even the most popular one. There was one of the one of them's got like 200 likes and tons of comments on it, and but yeah, there's probably only three other people. Mm. We're gonna do full ask offers. Sure. So, one of them was like thirty minutes from my house. Found out. So. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I he, think I saw that like later, like the guy's yeah. like forty minutes away or something yeah, like that. He, yeah. I was like, oh, you're next in line, or he, I don't know if he's next, but he's one of the. I don't even think he's in line yet. I had two other people in front of him, I think, sure. so I didn't even tell him. Well, it's good that you honor that. Oh you yeah. Know. yeah. If it wasn't full ask, then I'd go to the next guy. But just yeah. basically, first full ask offer, I'll get it's priority so yeah because i was talking to him when i was sitting with my girlfriend and because i think i said somebody put like you know or you had put like you know there's a 12k offer on the table or whatever and i was like i'm not gonna bargain with this guy i'm like this is dumb i'll like, just give him the asking price yeah basically what a, i was i'd consider a lower offer i was gonna wait at least 24 hours sure. i had just posted i was like i owe it to myself to try and get my full yeah. ass so I was yeah. Like, yeah so i wanted to wait so no it makes sense no I mean, and if you're making, if you really want it, and you, like, I would think if I was saying, hey, I'll give you, like, you know, 14 grand or whatever, and you're like, well, I got somebody giving me my the full amount, which is what I wanted, yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I love this binder, too, the zip up. Yeah, I actually like Zipfolio a lot. I don't like, so the old one used to be all black with black stitching. Yeah. And then they upgraded it, now it's got the red stitching. Because I got, like, 14 of the, because there's 14 sets in the Final Fantasy series. Oh, really? You have each set, huh? Yeah, I have each set. And then a play set is uh, is three of. Yeah. So I got three in okay. standard, and then three in, because they do foil of every card as yeah. well. So I got three in of every card in foil for most sets. Oh, yeah. Um, and then there's like a first edition type as well, uh, like an error printing. Yeah. Uh, she's on the phone. Uh, she says she's on the phone right now. Yep. Um, like it, it wasn't done intentionally. They just like, there was cards that had like grammatical errors and then cards that had like little like placement uh, changes that they had did. Yeah. It's like a cloud card. Um, a second wave is like maybe 200, 250, 250 bucks, depending on, you know, who you're talking to. Yeah. But then the first wave is like as high as like a thousand to fifteen hundred depending on the condition. Yeah. And if you get it graded, then it obviously spikes up. And this is just within like the four years that it's been out. But nobody knew this until one day somebody was like, Hey, there's um did you play the Final Fantasy games? Just a couple of them, yeah. Did you play Dabbled them? seven and ten, I think. Seven and ten? Um but so it's been a while. So So in Final Fantasy eight, there's a character named Squall who's like the main protagonist. Okay, yeah. And um in the first version, he's got his sword over his shoulder, and there's like a it's his image, and then behind him there's like a, a, a see-through image, okay? And the sword goes over the back image's throat, so they call it the cutthroat squall. In the second printing, they switched it so that, because in, I guess, Japan, it's like bad luck to have 
like a sort of like boat or something like that. It, it, was, it, was, it was weird. So in the second printing, they fixed that. Yeah. So then one day somebody posted on the group like, hey, I got these two cards and they look different. So then everybody's like, what? And then that's how it came about that everybody's like, oh wow, like there's two different printings. Uh, and, and luckily the printing of the, uh, the first wave had a different foiling. So if you put them side by side, you can tell the difference. Otherwise, there would be no other way other than like, like a like a very obvious um, image like that. Yeah, you know. Mm. So so then I set off to like do a three X of like the first thing like that. Oh yeah, that's where all my money's been going. That's sweet. <laughs> so very cool, man. No, I'm a hardcore collector. That's why I don't get into other TCGs. Yeah. You're familiar with any of the errors besides that Volpix one I showed you? I'm sorry. Are you familiar with any other like errors on these cards? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm seeing. Yeah, the uh, just the gray stamp is kind of mm -hmm. like the, one of the main other ones. Okay, she's on the phone. He's trying to overcorrect the screen. Pop out. So just like the, the nine tails, this is blue here. This flame. Mm -hmm. They just started oh. recognizing these as black flame errors because these do also come blue. Um, That's crazy. There is this, yeah, this, uh, these aren't the air blast doors. I have a couple in my house. Oh, there was actually a Shadowless first edition of Champ? I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, they, yeah, so it's, yep. Oh, wow. But these are the same, right? So the Shadowless first mm -hmm. edition, it doesn't come without the first edition. Yeah, yeah. The only one that comes without the first edition came in, like, the original player deck, and it's not even holographic. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's really expensive. It's got, like, a red back. So they, the guy said to try to send 5,000 in and potentially get it. Good thing we did. Uh, it's it's the time difference because she's got. I told her I was like, it's because she's got at least an hour before her meeting. She can handle all that stuff. No, yeah, definitely. Yeah, this uh, gray stamp bulbazor here. Oh yeah, I heard about that. No, nope. there's not a few gray stamps in here, but not many. There's like a, I heard there's like a ghost stamp too, where it's like almost like. Yeah, it's. I think it's only on the Pikachu I've ever seen. It's, it's really bad. Yeah, this one's just the red cheeks, regular. Gotcha. Oh, and then the yellow cheeks, and uh, there was a couple of talking about that. Yeah, the red cheeks is the more expensive one because there's a yellow cheeks first edition also. I just love this uh, that pack art. So I actually had bought in German first edition ones, again, back in 2016 for like packs. 30 bucks a pop. I have like nine, no, eight total. Three Venus Ward, two Blastoise, two Charizard, and then those went up too. But they're going back down again. They they're going open, like, yeah. They're, yeah, they're unopened. They're sealed. Uh, I think they went as high as like a thousand on yeah. some sales from Charizard art. Uh, but I think they're hovering around like four to six hundred now. So I just have them sitting there. Yeah, I bought three first edition English packs for a thousand dollars a piece before the price of Bob mm. and I sold them for like. 5500 so I've made like 2500 Sure. And they just skyrocketed. They're like 4000 a piece. I'm like, oh, wow. If you had just waited a little bit yeah, longer. Just waited. That's uh, sure. Deal's done. That took a little bit longer than expected. Had a couple hiccups. Um, processing payment. Got it done. Moving on to the next one. Um, Jesus, great guy. Um, look forward to doing business with him again. Huge, uh, came through huge. We're here, beautiful day. Couldn't ask for better weather here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. Move on to some uh, bigger and better things possibly and uh, kind of see where, where the world takes us. You never know, maybe I'll buy another Zapdos. Don't tell my wife. But uh, yeah, it's uh, awesome. It t Like I said, it took a little bit longer, which the video cut. Um, it probably took, after the last time it cut, it took probably another 35, 40 minutes uh, to get everything arranged and paid properly, but we uh, got it done, like I said. So, 
that set is gone in his car down the road. Just saw him drive by, so <laughs> now I need to bake it again. No, <laughs> I miss it already. I need to. I need to get those cards back in my life. But I now am not the owner of a first edition base set Charizard. I uh, have unlimited ones, no first edition ones anymore. So it's bittersweet. Watch the prices are going to go to the moon next week. <laughs> That's the way it goes. But. Um, yeah, I couldn't be happier with the sale. The guy was awesome. I uh, seems most of these big high-end trades I deal with are with really, really good people, um, and that's just through the vetting process. Like I had mentioned, um, there's a few people that reached out. They're kind of dodgy. Um, so, but this guy was a stand-up guy and did good business. So, hopefully, work with him again. Hopefully, I'll see him sometime in. Uh, his hometown he can take me out on a yacht but uh <laughs> yeah you know, he works with yachts or has in his past but uh that'd be awesome so i'm gonna get on the road here head home kind of do a little recap when i get there um i appreciate y'all sticking in and uh let me know what you think let's uh what should i be looking out for what's uh i'm kind of looking base set booster box um before those prices go back up because they're getting pretty low i see they're getting pretty low and it's kind of it's kind of plateaued um but let me know let me know what you think i uh talk to y'all soon all right i'm back home deal's done i'm home and relaxing satisfied excited ready to keep moving forward but let's give a moment of silence for my set that is now gone okay now that that's over I have a small little mail day. I bought something off of Certified Link. This is another auction house site that I was newly leaked to. And they sh ship packing peanuts, so don't ever buy from them. Don't, don't. Do better. I have a card inside of here. see what it is PSA 9 first edition magneton it was really cheap it was on their site and it sold for $500 this was a $500 card and it's definitely a 9 quality it's got a newer cert which is usually a good sign for good quality front looks immaculate so I have of the first edition set in PSA 9's I have this and Zapdos Zapdos because I collect Zapdos and now Magneton because I like first edition base and this card was cheap but certifiedlink.com they do video games comic books similar stuff to heritage auctions um, recommend checking them out and they do random Pokemon cards. And not a lot of people know about them, so this card went really cheap. So I'm happy. So that's it. That's the end of my vlog for today. Let me know what you think. I, uh, I like doing these vlog type videos. Um, a little bit more work with the editing, but it's definitely worth the time. It's cool to, it's gonna be awesome to look back and see this whole thing go down basically have that little bit of memory that I can look back on and watch. It's like, wow, I had that, I sold that, that guy's awesome, I need to hit him up. And uh, yeah, that's it. On to the next one. <laughs>